Broadly speaking, photosynthesis is the process by which green plants harness sunlight to power the production of organic molecules. This process occurs in two stages, light-dependent reactions and carbon fixation. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on the function that two distinct structures called photosystems play in light-dependent reactions. Photosystems are complexes embedded in the thylakoid membrane of photosynthetic organisms. All photosystems have two structures. The antenna complex is where photons of light are captured by pigments. This energy is passed to a reaction center where it excites an electron that is then transferred to an acceptor along the membrane. Although some bacteria have one photosystem, plants have two distinct photosystems. These photosystems vary in the wavelengths of light they can capture. They also rely on different sources for the electrons they energize. As these electrons travel away from the two different photosystems, they power the synthesis of two different products needed to complete photosynthesis. Despite its name, Photosystem 2 acts first in light-dependent reactions. It captures shorter wavelengths of light than Photosystem 1, which carry more energy. It's important to note that the electrons that are energized in the reaction center of Photosystem 2 are gained by oxidizing water. These energized electrons are passed along the thylakoid membrane to the proton pump B6F complex. Here, energy from these electrons is used to pump protons across the thylakoid membrane. This concentration gradient ultimately powers the production of ATP through a process called chemiosmosis. Meanwhile, the electrons that provided energy to B6F complex are passed along to Photosystem 1. Photosystem 1 captures longer wavelengths of light than Photosystem 2, while Photosystem 2 plucks electrons from H2O molecules Photosystem 1 can only receive electrons that have been passed along from Photosystem 2. The electrons that are re-excited at Photosystem 1 are passed to another carrier which uses them to reduce the acceptor NADP plus to NADPH. This marks the end of the light-dependent reactions. Both ATP and NADPH go on to play crucial roles in carbon fixation. Notice how the electrons that started in H2O leave the chain via NADPH? Because these electrons are not recycled by either photosystem. This production of ATP and NADPH is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Photosystem 1 and Photosystem 2 are partners in this process. Photosystem 2 takes water and photons to help produce ATP and pass electrons to Photosystem 1. Photosystem 1 takes these electrons and more photons to help produce NADPH. Together, these photosystems are a lot like relay racers, passing an electron baton to the finish line. And like relay racers, they need a constant supply of water at the top of the race to keep in tip-top shape.